Due to a number of concerns caused by the effects of climate change and that of global warming, it appears that researchers have begun making a list of a variety of habitats and ecosystems that will be forever lost due to these changes. Some of these lost habitations include small islands that appeared to be greatly threatened by the rising sea levels caused by an introduction of heat energy in the water of the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five different islands that due to these climate changes are expected to vanish within the near future. The Solomon Islands Located in the South Pacific is a grouping of small islands known as the Solomon Islands. These islands total more than 1,000 small landmasses and atolls that have a wide number of adapted species seen nowhere else on the world. Many of these sites, less than a few thousand square feet in habitable land, have become safe havens for a number of species and areas for birds to lay eggs and begin their migratory patterns. Unfortunately, it seems that these islands are in danger due to the overwhelming changes in the ocean level. Despite the large number of islands and landmasses, it appears that the Solomon Islands stand at roughly six and a half feet above the sea level. Given the changes in recent times, such as the steady growth of eight millimeters of the sea level since 1993, these changes are believed to not only prove to be a danger to the islands, but also to a number of residents that inhabit them. Miles of shorelines have already sunk and the changes of the high and low tide are only proving to be more detrimental to the land stability of the island over the coming years. Since 1935, more than five reef islands have been completely washed away and a number of villages have been destroyed due to these receding shorelines. Additionally, the provincial capital of Teresal has already begun efforts into building a new town for residents to relocate as new research from the published Journal of Environmental Research Letters have written that the changes will only worsen over the coming years. The islands are expected to be washed up and uninhabitable within the next 80 years. The Maldives Found in the Indian Ocean is an island country that is composed of roughly 26 ring-shaped atolls and more than 1,000 coral islands that make up its domain. This country is known as the Maldives and is seen as one of the largest tourist spots in the entire world as the majority of the country's GDP is tied to money made through tourism, resorts and other taxed private businesses on the island. Unfortunately, however, being made up of such low-lying atolls the country of the Maldives will be among one of the first countries in the world to completely disappear due to rising sea levels and changes expected to submerge the islands within the next 50 years. Recently, the country's president held an event back in 2009 to bring these worries to the attention of many of the politicians and residents residing on the collection of islands. He scheduled the meeting to take place underwater to force people to see what the expected effects of global warming are going to be if no further action to build shorelines, work with shore dumping or large walls to keep out the rising waters will be in the near future. The World Bank has already taken conservative estimates of these changes to look at the best case scenario of what could possibly happen. Despite these estimates, they still find that even at the lowest expected rate of the sea levels rising, all of the islands will be completely submerged by the year 2100. Additionally, many changes to resorts are already taking place due to the vanishing shorelines. Today, there have already been a number of constructed underwater hotels to cash in on the new changes of the receding shoreline and to help make the islands habitable even if something must be built in low-lying waters. The Islands of Palau According to a paper published by the Palau National Weather Service Office, worked in conjunction with that of the Pacific Climate Change Science Programme organisation, the many tiny, low-lying islands of Palau are incredibly sensitive to the new changes of the rising sea levels. They have found that since 1993, the shores have risen 0.35 inches per year, roughly three times the expected global average. These findings, coupled with the number of storms and tropical weathers that work to naturally degrade the shoreline, have left many claiming that these tiny islands might not be around for long. In fact, if there were to be a large hurricane to strike the area, 
it is expected that the majority of islands would disappear overnight considering how sensitive they are to any changes whatsoever. Given the overwhelming degradation to the shoreline due to natural climate change, however, researchers find that by the year 2090, the sea level for the islands will rise more than 24 inches, completely flooding many of the residents and destroying a large number of the islands. Additionally, according to the Public Radio International, Residents have already begun efforts to move to another country as the full moon high tides have caused considerable flooding all over the islands. Given these rates of changes, many believe that the 2090 estimate is among the most hopeful. Realistically, researchers expect many of the inhabited lands to become uninhabitable over the next few years, resulting in a mass emigration of the residents of the island within the next decade. These changes have also led to a number of unique species located on and around the island from becoming endangered. Among these species is that of the non-stinging jellyfish native only to the islands. Soon, they are expected to go completely extinct, drying up one of the major tourist attractions for the island that has already seen a major economic impact. The Tiny Island of Micronesia Another island country that seems to be suffering from these changes is that of the country of Micronesia. Micronesia is made up of roughly 600 islands located more than 2,500 miles southwest of Hawaii out in the Pacific Ocean. When adding up the land of all of the islands combined, Micronesia only possesses roughly 270 square miles of land in total, a number dramatically shrinking every single year. It appears that in recent years, the small island nation has already lost a number of islands that have reduced their total land size, as well as many more of their islands shrinking in size due to eroding shorelines. This fast erosion of shoreline is mostly due to the drying off of mangrove trees that normally inhabited the shorelines of the islands and prevented the sands from washing away and slowly becoming eroded back. The cause for the disappearance of the mangrove trees aren't entirely known with some claiming that the changes of global warming could be responsible, whereas others believe it could be other forms of pollutants in the ocean. Regardless of these causes, the mangrove trees acted as a natural barrier to break up crashing waves while also digging their roots through the sandy beaches to help with the overall stability of the sand. The disappearance of these trees will only see a faster rate of decline in landmass for these islands a change only exacerbated by the rising sea levels and other effects of climate change. Luckily, some of the islands of Micronesia contain sufficient mountain ranges that can be used in the event of further shoreline erosion, keeping the majority of the residents safe over the coming decades. Still, these changes are concerning for the country's government that has now begun funding efforts to keep an eye on smaller islands and keep track of the changes of their landmasses and shorelines. The New Zealand Cook Islands Located off of the shores of the independent nation of New Zealand are a number of small, low-lying islands referred to as the Cook Islands. Though the islands themselves aren't at the same level of danger of disappearing or eroding away completely within the next 100 years as compared to the previous islands, it does appear that the rising sea levels will contribute to a large amount of damage for the residents of the islands in the modern day. With the expected sea level rise as well as the already occurring changes in the shorelines, it is expected that within the next 50 years there will be irreparable damage to roads, bridges, ports and runways of which could completely cripple the local economy of the islands if necessary actions are not taken to begin large construction efforts to substitute these damaged areas in the near future. Not only will the government be required to begin construction on alternative roadways, raised bridges, more stable constructions as well as a completely new runway in an area not in danger of the changes of the sea level, but the damage to property owned by residents of the island will lead to even further degradation of the quality of life and economy of the area. Unless residents begin taking action over the next few years, they could very well become victim to these changes and be left stranded with nothing in the very near future. Though conservative estimates claim these changes won't really take place for another 70 years, some believe that any large storm or other disasters could shorten that time span to a mere couple decades.
But what do you all think of these islands from around the world that should disappear due to a number of climate change disasters and environmental damages within the near future? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.